Hello everyone, this is part two of the laser heart project. Um, as you can see, I have the schematic up on the screen. Um, don't be too harsh on me. This is really a big learning curve for me, uh, trying to use Eagle. Um, I just started using it, you know, the last, uh, well, just after the last video. So, um, I had to create... Uh, the IC2 that was uh, kind of tricky there may be some things on here that people might point out and uh, tell me well uh, you could have done it this way or that way uh, same goes for the board layout uh, as you can see here um, there's the board layout um, I didn't know how to extend the pads and the easiest thing for me was just to add those uh, rectangles uh, because the problem I had with uh, the template for the Arduino that I found uh, it's uh, SparkFun's uh, uh, template is the for some reason the pads didn't line up for the pins to connect to the Arduino so I extended the pads a little bit uh, there's several things I wish I would have done differently but now that I've made the PCB uh, at least version one um, you know I'm gonna work with it uh, but if there's a version two I'll certainly make the changes I wish my traces were a little bit bigger because I had to debug the traces they didn't fully come out um, and I, I wish I would have added a, a, a connector for uh, ground and plus five volts directly to the board because it's not going to really work too well the way I have it right now, so I'm, I'm going to have to do something different, like uh, solder directly onto the pads. I did create uh, uh, bigger pads for ground and plus five, so I could attach to those. And I wish I would have done a few other things, but I won't go over that right now. Um, there, as it stands, there's uh, five jumpers, and somebody who's m more well versed with eagle probably could have done it with less jumpers this is a single sided board i'm you know i i, I don't know about making a double sided board that's a, a little bit more advanced for me uh having this been this the first time that i've ever used eagle and made a pcb uh as you can see from the first picture i uh have it connected to the arduino it connects up uh rather well um I did as I said the pads didn't quite line up so I had to kind of drill uh, the holes offset them on one side to make it a little bit wider you know, just a, a hair wider and that was kind of troublesome uh, doing that but uh, it worked out so the board mounts okay um, uh, the problem starts to uh, become apparent when you flip the board over uh, <laughs> I had to debug quite a few traces that's why I wish I would have made my traces a little bit bigger or either either used a either that or used a marker uh, and as I said I wish I would have made the 5 volts uh, rail and uh, ground traces uh, a little bit thicker so we'll see how that turns out but uh, also uh, haven't uh, put in the components yet it's just really a connector and a, a resistor for the MIDI output uh, just have to throw in that trans or I'm sorry resistor and connector like I said so uh, it's coming along I have to hook up uh, D connectors that's what I'm planning on using some D connectors that I had laying around uh, to actually interface with the uh, uh, lasers and the photoresistors. Uh, so it's coming along. It's, it's a slow process, but I'm glad I made this board because uh, the perf board just was not working out. Uh, I, can't, I, I can't imagine. I'd still be soldering on that thing, I think, trying to fix that. So, uh, and also, I, I've wanted to make a PCB for a long time, and this is my first attempt. I'm sure there'll be some suggestions out there. 
Uh, and if there are, they're more than welcome. Uh, just don't be too critical because, as I said, this is my first try. So uh, I think that's all I have for right now. Uh, I'll give another update once I get this thing fully debugged and the D connectors hooked up and uh, that'll be the, the next video probably and there'll be some more after that because we've got some software uh, to write and uh, you know this this is a fun project really um, it might cost end up costing a little bit more than what I anticipated. I thought it was going to be about 50, 60 bucks. But if you don't have the the parts like I I have laying around, uh, you know things I've pulled and, and whatnot, it might cost you a little bit more. And if you make a PCB like I did, you know you have to buy that and mess around with that. But uh, you know, still it'll be a nice project if it all ends up working. Thanks for watching.